Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining us today for a very exciting Uniworld Boutique River Cruises webinar. My name is Anna, I'm an Industry Relations Specialist here at CLIA, and I'm going to just quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenter. We will have time for questions at the end, so please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar and we'll get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. This webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenter, Adina Wilson. A native of Los Angeles, Adina graduated from UCLA before beginning a career in the entertainment industry, working for CBS television studios in Hollywood. Always passionate about travel, Adina made the move to the cruise industry in 2006 as a shore excursion manager, coordinating, coordinating award-winning onshore experiences for ocean cruise guests. Transitioning to sales, Adina managed an inside sales team as well as specialized in charters and incentive sales before beginning her current role in 2015 as Director National Accounts Western U.S. with Uniworld Boutique River Cruise Collection, the world's number one river cruise line as voted by readers of Travel and Leisure in 2018. And with that, take it away, Adina. Great. Thanks, Anna. I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you, everyone, for joining me today on this uh, webinar about Uniworld. Uh, to give you a little uh, overview of what we will cover, it'll begin with um, just a brief summary of who Uniworld is, uh, kind of our pillars. And then I'm going to go into some really fun photos of our brand new ships that we just launched. Uh, and then I'll also conclude with uh, information about U River Cruises, which is uh, kind of our little sister brand which is brand new and really, really cool as well. So without further ado, I will jump right in. Um, so for those of you that are uh, unfamiliar with Uniworld, we are a part of the Travel Corporation, uh, or TTC for short. Uh, I mention this because the Travel Corporation actually has over 40 brands under its umbrella and over 100 years in uh, hospitality experience. Uh, but the Travel Corporation is also owned by a family, the Tolmans. Uh, that's a few photos of them there on the left, Mr. and Mrs. Tolman. Um, that's Ms. Beatrice Tolman and her son, Brett. Uh, they actually own all these brands, and I think it's really important to note that we are family-owned because you really do feel that, that genuine love and um, that, that pleasure in having hospitality as the, um, the, the main pillar of what we do and our, our, everything we do. It's, it's really, um, it goes from our ships to our staff to uh, just everything about us is, is really brought to life because we are um, we have wonderful uh, family ownership in our company. So I just want to mention that uh, and the amazing uh, history of hospitality. So with Uniworld, uh, we actually started out uh, with the Travel Corporation about 13 or 14 years ago. Um, Uniworld's been around for over 40 years. Uh, the Travel Corporation did purchase Uniworld and kind of refurbished and enhanced the experience to become one of the first luxury river cruise lines out there. Uh, we have a huge history of hospitality, as I mentioned, mainly starting with hotels. So the Tolmans actually took the Uniworld ships and they redesigned them to make them floating luxury hotels. So that's the real difference between Uniworld and other river cruise lines. We are floating luxury hotels. Uh, and we are very much boutique hotels, which means the decor of the ships is going to be inspired based upon where we're cruising. So every single one of our ships is different. And you'll see a lot of really great photos um, as we continue on of our newest ships. And that'll give you a feel for how they're so different and how they're customized based on where you're cruising. Uh, but our ships really are one of the main um, hallmarks, what we're known for, these beautiful, beautiful ships. Uh, but also, once you're on board our ships, we are all-inclusive. We actually won world's most all-inclusive river cruise line as voted by cruise critics. Um, but our all-inclusiveness is not just about the number of items we include, it's the value and the types of items are included. We're going to have very, very good quality um, all-inclusiveness on our ships and a lot of variety as well. So it's not going to be just one type of wine included throughout. It'll be multiple types of beverages and wines and all sorts of wonderful things. Uh, and here's actually a quick bullet point list. And you can see what is all included on Uniworld. So it'll be fantastic service with one of the highest guest to staff ratios on the rivers, gratuities on board as well as ashore, uh, airport transfers. What's really great about this is we provide transfers for guests that have booked our air, but also that book air independently. They still receive airport transfers from Uniworld included. Uh, butler service in our suites, 24 hour room service on all categories, concierge service in all categories, fantastic, amazing dining, uh, including premium spirits, beers, regional wines, uh, excursions are also included, as well as uh, our fitness center, uh, wellness classes. We have signature lecturers on board as well, Wi-Fi, uh, bicycle helmets, Nordic walking sticks, whatever you can think of is going to be included. In fact, the only thing really not included would be our spa and spa, uh, spa services, uh, as well as possibly our diamond list beverages. 
um, and, uh, and maybe a few really fun exclusive Masterpiece Collection excursions. Um, but other than that, it's going to pretty much all be included. And speaking of the beverages, we get this question a lot. Um, and the types of beverages that are actually included. Here's a photo of our bar, just so you can see the types of la uh, labels and quality of beverages that actually are included. Uh, in fact, a little fun fact, we have 28 types of whiskey on board and many of those actually are all included. So if you have uh, guests that have a specific type of beverage they like, most likely it's gonna be included. If not, uh, if they let the bartender know, uh, I bet you that they'll go out in the city and buy it for them and have it for them the next day. It's really remarkable that our staff does, uh, does this and goes above and beyond. In fact, our staff is actually known for this. Um, they, they have this little saying, no request too large, no detail too small. So they're always going to be ensuring that they deliver the best quality of service and they're always attentive and listening to what the guests need and that they anticipate what the guests need before the guests even know they need something. Uh, it's really amazing. I think they have a little contest on board to see how much they can impress the guests uh, and how, how they can really personalize the experience as well for the guests on board. And I think this really stems again to the fact that we're family owned. All of our staff actually is employed by the Tolman family. Uh, we don't use outsourcing companies for our staff. So it's, we actually have one of the highest retention rates in, uh, in all of the river cruise industry. Uh, in fact, this year, we had every single staff member return from last year to this year, except for two. Uh, one of them, her husband got another job in a different country, so she had to move, unfortunately. And the other one, uh, she was pregnant, so she's on leave. So of that, all other guests, all other staff actually returned. It's really remarkable that our staff actually will be with us 5, 10, 15, sometimes 20 year staff uh, on our ships. And your guests actually will really feel the warmth they have because they are here because they want to be and they feel valued by the Travel Corporation, by Uniworld, and we're all part of the Uniworld family. Um, so the staff definitely delivers this amazing service to your guests on board. Also on board, we have amazing cuisine, uh, fresh farm to table cuisine, everything's locally sourced. All of our menus are gonna vary based upon where you're cruising. So we don't have one set menu for all itineraries. It's gonna, it's gonna change based on where you're cruising because we want our guests to experience the local, the local cuisines, the local specialties, and everything's fresh and brought on board. It's really, really remarkable. And this also stems from the fact that we are family owned. Mrs. Tolman actually is a chef. She has a great book, uh, cookbook called A Life in Food, which I really recommend you pick up and read. It's really, really interesting. A lot of great recipes but also a lot of great stories about her life in hospitality. Um, but she's a renowned chef, and she actually reviews all of our menus and helps plan our cuisine on board. And because of her passion, as well as the Tolman's general passion for uh, cuisine, you'll find the best quality on board in the world. They make sure that we provide an amazing option for your guests um, throughout the entire cruise. And we also have great options for guests that may have um, limitations as to what they can have. Uh, for example, we have gluten-free, we have vegan. Uh, we actually started for the first time kosher cruises as well. Uh, we have traveling light menus, salt, low salt, low sugar. Uh, we really, it's as if we have personal chefs on board for your guests. It's really remarkable. In fact, I think we are the most progressive in that area of specialty dining of any uh, river cruise line. So if you have guests that need a specific type of cuisine, uh, definitely reach out to us and we can let the ship know in advance and arrange it for them. Uh, now, because your guests are going to have amazing cuisine on board, they may want to take advantage of our Wellness on Water program, which allows them to exercise a little bit as well on their vacation. Uh, so we have, as I mentioned, the traveling light menu, which are low-calorie or low-sugar meals. We also have fitness classes on board, bicycles they can use, complimentary. We have beautiful heated indoor swimming pools. Uh, and there's actually a photo of one there in the middle right. That's our pool in the Maria Teresa. It's gorgeous. Uh, we have fitness centers, spas on board. So they definitely can take advantage of these uh, activities on board as well. As, and once they leave the ship, we have Let's Go excursion programs, which are our more active themed excursions, where they actually can get in the cities and bike ride and go on hikes and kayak and do a lot of really fun active adventures in the cities. Speaking of our excursions, uh, we do have over 80 exclusive experiences just offered by Uniworld for your guests. So we do offer these uh, special excursions that are included. So your guests can really experience the destinations because we realize they may be in a city for maybe just eight hours their entire life. So we wanna make sure that they really experience the most in that city during that time. So those excursions are included. We also offer, of course, basic highlights, sightseeing tours. We have walking tours, do as the locals do tours, wine tasting, a lot of really fun uh, options that are included. We have at least uh, one excursion included per day, but usually it's multiple options per day included. Uh, for your guests to choose from. So it's really up to them how they want to discover the city. But then we also offer uh, Masterpiece Collection excursions, as I mentioned, that are available for um, additional cost. And those are usually very, very small boutique sized uh, excursions, like a, a private French cooking class in Paris. That, for example, would be a Masterpiece Collection excursion. 
So I've talked about uh, just a quick overview of Uniworld, who we are, um, that we, we have amazing cuisine on board, our wonderful included excursions. We're all inclusive, our beautiful ships. I'm very proud to say that we actually have been given awards for the type of river cruise experience that we provide. Uh, we did win World's Best River Cruise Line by Travel and Leisure in 2018, as well as many years prior to that as well. Uh, cruise Critic, the editor, as well as the Cruiser's Choice Awards also went to Uniworld for Best in European River Cruise and Best Overall River Cruise Line. So we're very happy to be, be acknowledged for what we're doing on the rivers. Uh, now, now that you know a little bit about Uniworld, uh, I want to mention who our guest demographic is to see if you have these guests in your client database. Uh, so just a quick overview. Uh, our guests are usually fit and active 50 to 75 year olds, uh, considered upscale empty nesters. They're usually very experienced travelers. So they've been all over the world and they want to continue to travel, but they want to do so in the ease of all inclusiveness and the ease of luxury. Uh, they're usually highly educated, financially savvy, and uh, they also are very curious and passionate about music, art, and especially food and wine. We have a lot of food and wine lovers on our cruises as well. Uh, and of course, they're concerned about the environment because Uniworld as well is very concerned about the environment and sustainability and leaving a lesser footprint for future generations. So um, this is a quick overview of our client base, just so you have it in your back pocket. Now, moving on, here's our world at a glance. Uh, as I mentioned, we've been around for over 40 years, so we have quite a few uh, rivers that we've actually pioneered, and we have quite a few rivers that we cruise on, uh, starting on the left there from Portugal and Spain, all of uh, France. Uh, we actually are in Italy as well, the only river cruise line in Italy. We have Central Europe, Eastern Europe, and then we also have our beautiful exotics as well as India, China, Vietnam, and Cambodia, and Egypt, as well as Russia. So we are on all the major waterways, and uh, if there's an itinerary out there that your guest wants to cruise on, most likely Uniworld offers that itinerary. And our cruises start at seven days, uh, sorry, seven nights, eight days, that's the shortest duration, and then they can actually cruise up to almost a month with Uniworld on one of our longer cruises that goes all the way across Europe. So we do have quite a few options in duration as well on our ships. Uh, so now let's jump into the beautiful, beautiful uh, new ships that we actually just launched. So we just launched the SS Bon Voyage. Uh, she was launched April 14th. I'm recording this webinar on May 15th, so she actually launched just under, uh, just over a month ago. Um, so this ship actually is one of my favorites. When I saw her, I just thought she was the most gorgeous thing. Um, I'll show you quickly the deck plans of the ship here. So she does cruise the Bordeaux region, which is in southern France. Uh, this ship is 124 guest capacity. Uh, we actually added an infinity pool on the top deck. It's the only one of its kind on the rivers. We have a beautiful outdoor lounge on the top deck. We added two new dining venues, a uh, French bistro added, private dining and wine, wine tasting room, which is one of my favorite rooms on the ship. We also have added four new suites, all marble bathrooms throughout, and a brand new gym and spa on board. Uh, now, this ship was formerly known as the River Royale. She actually cruised her for a few years with Uniworld as the River Royale. We actually took the ship from Bordeaux. We transported her across the ocean. She actually went on another ship onto a, a, a vessel that took her across the ocean all the way around to Netherlands. And there she spent eight months in Netherlands being transformed. So this ship is not refurbished. She's completely transformed. We took out a lot of the insides. We redid all the staterooms. I mean, she just was completely changed. Uh, and that's really what we do with our ships. We, instead of adding additional brand new ships uh, in a region, we are constantly enhancing our current fleet. Uh, and transforming them to make them even a higher level of luxury river cruising. Um, and I think this is important because we're not adding to the uh, number of ships on the rivers, we're just enhancing what we currently have. Uh, so Uniworld has always had very steady, strong growth in the river cruise industry, but we've never launched many, many, many ships at one time. We just have really uh, 17 ships and we take really, really good care of them and make sure they're the best on the rivers. So now let's jump in to see what the ship actually looks like. So when you first step onto the Bon Voyage, you're greeted by this beautiful lobby that is Ita uh, imported Italian wood uh, that, we, that lines the entire ship. It's very much, uh, gives it a yacht finish on board. So you walk on board, you're greeted to the lobby with the beautiful chandelier. On the left there is an elevator that goes to all the decks. Um, and then you have the stairs that kind of go down and up to the different areas. If you go to the top deck, you see our wonderful sun deck. And here you'll see a hint of leopards. Uh, printed throughout on the cushions there. Our owners, the Tolmans, are actually from South Africa, so you'll find hints of leopards hidden throughout our ships, so that's why there's leopards there on those cushions. Uh, beautiful beach umbrella is a nice area to relax on the top deck as you cruise southern France. And if you go to the back of the top deck, you'll see our infinity pool. Uh, it is a heated pool, and you actually can sit right there and enjoy a, uh, a glass of wine if you like as you cruise through southern France. I can't think of anything more, more relaxing and beautiful than that. Uh, and then, of course, there's seating throughout, so you can also just sit and relax there as well. 
And then if you step down to the deck below the pool, you have our Serenity River Spa, where we offer spa services, hot stone massages, uh, sweetest massages, a variety of services available for our guests uh, that would like to have a, a moment of relaxation on our ships as well. And then next to the spa is the fitness center. Uh, so this is actually at the, the bow of the ship. You actually can see the windows are curved, so you can view and look out at the beautiful um, uh, river as you cruise along and, and get some exercise in. Uh, and then if you go to the next deck up, you'll see our uh, beautiful lounge area, the uh, champagne salon, salon champagne, uh, where we actually will have our port talks as well as kind of the pre-dinner cocktail hours is where kind of guests can meet, meet and mingle. Um, it, as I mentioned, we're all inclusive, so cocktails are available anytime, but we do find that a lot of guests will join here before dinner just to kind of mingle and spend time and talk about their day in the city with their fellow passengers. Uh, and then we also will have entertainment here, signature lecturers. Uh, we can have all sorts of fun activities here as well and sing-alongs and dance parties and things. Uh, and then when you actually go to walk to your stateroom, this is what the hallway looks like. I love this hallway. There's actually lights on the top over the original artwork. And then down there at the floor, you'll see this beautiful light lining the bottom floor and the woodwork throughout. And we actually have original art on all of our ships. The Tolmans actually display their private art collection on board our ships. So if you're on a Uniworld ship and you see a Picasso on the wall, it's not a print of a Picasso, it's a real Picasso. We actually have four ships of Picassos on board. So it is real original artwork by these amazing artists displayed throughout. In fact, we have over a million dollars original artwork displayed throughout our ships. So definitely keep an eye out for the beautiful art on board our ships. Now, if you open one of these doors, you'll be greeted to a beautiful grand suite. Uh, we have two of these on board our ships. And you'll see this one has a nice sitting area, the French balcony, and then in the separate bedroom area there as well uh, with the original art throughout. And um, someone says, oh, uh, there's no television in these, in these rooms. Where's the TV? And um, it actually comes down from the ceiling. So I think it's really cool. Our TVs are hidden up in the ceiling. So if you want to have a, a step away from technology for a while, you don't have the TV right there in front of you. It, it, it actually comes down with a push of a button. It's really, really quite amazing. And then look at this beautiful bathroom. It's a uh, blue marble. As I mentioned, we have all marble bathrooms throughout. Uh, but this actual uh, grand suite is a blue themed so the Tolmans they've just selected blue marble for its bathroom to kind of match and bring out and there's a beautiful soaking tub a separate shower double sinks a uh, really beautiful luxurious bathroom and then we have our suite category here again with the beautiful woodwork throughout the original artwork French balcony and then here's just another angle with the beautiful sitting area there as well and then we have the next category is French balcony here so you have the French balcony you can open for open air um, Apple storage, a separate sitting area. The next category be below this is the deluxe category, which does not have the balcony, but has a beautiful picture window for our guests. And then the entry level, as you can say, category would be our classic category, uh, which has these neat portholes, which I think are really pretty with the woodwork as well. So that would be the entry level category for the Bon Voyage uh, ship. And look at the bathroom too, marble bathrooms, of course, in, uh, in all categories. Now I want to talk quickly about a few other public areas as well. Uh, so we have the Café de Soleil, which actually is on the top deck uh, next to that beautiful infinity pool. Here we can do cooking classes and wine tastings, but we also have like a pizza cafe as well in the afternoons. So you can grab a, a fresh slice of pizza and go sit by the pool. So it's another secondary dining venue that we do have on board is this beautiful cafe. And then if you step into our Salon de Champagne and then you go to the edge of that, we have added a French bistro. Uh, and this bistro will serve beautiful um, late risers breakfasts, uh, some lunches as well. It's a really nice place to relax and, and, and just enjoy the views as well as you cruise um, along southern France. And then our main dining area is, uh, I love this restaurant, La Grand Fromage, which is uh, the big cheese is the name of this restaurant. And this is where you'll have your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We do have plated sit-down breakfast, lunch, and dinners, as well as buffet options for breakfast and for lunch. Uh, dinner is always a plated dinner, um, of course, all-inclusive. And so here you'll, you'll sit down and enjoy a sampling of different wines that are paired with your, your meals. Um, and we do select local wines from the local regions, and the wine selection will vary per evening based upon the cuisine that's being offered. So it'll be paired. Our small will actually select the wine to pair with the different uh, dining options that evening. So it's really, really a great experience. It's almost like a wine tasting on board. Every night you get something different. It's really fun. And then here's a few more angles of the uh, restaurant. This is during the daytime, probably what you'll see for lunch, just the beautiful light coming in, uh, the different decor there. And of course, uh, because you're in France, we'll have lots of cheeses as well. So that's kind of the cheese cart. That'd be my favorite thing. I'd ask the waiter to leave that right next to me the entire time because that looks amazing, the cheese and the bread. But that's, that is uh, also just an example of, of what you'll see as you're having uh, dinner or lunch on board. 
And then one of my favorite rooms on this beautiful new ship is La Cave de Vin, which is our private uh, wine and uh, dinner tasting dinner room. So here you actually will be invited uh, just between 10 to 12 guests. It'll be only a handful of nights per cruise, uh, maybe three or four evenings on a seven night cruise. You'd have to sign up for this and there would usually be additional cost for this because it's going to be a an incredible wine paired dinner experience where you sit down here for several hours and you'll have a personal chef sommelier that will offer you an amazing French dinner paired with, with local wines. It's quite an amazing experience. We have rave reviews about this. It's perfect for special occasions, for special small private party gatherings, um, but we it's just an incredibly gorgeous room to have this intimate experience and to really dive into the French cuisine. So for those foodies and wine lovers, this is definitely something not to miss if they cruise with us in Bordeaux, which I really do hope they do. Um, and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed those photos of our ship, uh, the Bon Voyage. That concludes my photo portion of the ships, but I do want to mention quickly the itinerary that this beautiful, beautiful ship does cruise on. Um, so this ship is very much inspired by Bordeaux and the wines and the, the cuisine of the, of the region of southern France. But here's a quick overview of the itinerary. It's called Brilliant Bordeaux. It's eight days, seven nights. It begins Bordeaux and ends in Bordeaux, so it's easy for flights around trip Bordeaux. Uh, and it just cruises along the beautiful Garonne River, and you really just uh, see all the different types of wines. And there's such a, a huge variety of, of wines in this, this one little area, some of the best wines in the entire world. Um, so it's, it's really just the experience for your guests to, to do the different wine tastings, to see the little villages in the cities. And, and it's such a leisurely relaxing cruise. Uh, and it's perfect as well to add as an extension if your guests want to go to other parts of France as well. If they want to go to Paris or the Champagne region, they can add this on this cruise. And then once they're on board, we do have uh, seven nights of cruising, 20 meals included. We have a welcome and farewell dinner, uh, 14 excursions included, one very exclusive experience included, as well as three UNESCO heritage sites that will be visited. And a couple of fun highlights on this cruise. Uh, for those uh, active guests, we actually do have um, a, a, a yoga session at Blay Fortress. So that could go up there, they'll hike up there and do yoga uh, at this beautiful fortress. And then we also have a very exclusive experience, which would be a private artisanal wine tasting at this wonderful chateau, and this is only for Uniworld, it's exclusively opened for Uniworld to this very special wine tasting and tour of the chateau. And then for those guests that want to be more active as, as well, we have bicycle excursions that they actually can bike um, and just see Bordeaux in a more intimate sense. Instead of on a coach or by, by walking, you bike along the rivers and just really have a nice experience there in Bordeaux. So that is our beautiful Bon Voyage uh, in Bordeaux. Uh, it just opened uh, I just launched April 14th. We do actually still have some space available on this wonderful itinerary this year in 2019 if you've guessed they want to go this year. If not, I definitely encourage them to book for 2020 because it is selling out really quickly for 2020. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful itinerary, and I'm really excited. I'm hoping that I actually get to take this for vacation. That's my goal because I think it's such a beautiful option. Now, uh, that was one of our ships, and that was just designed for Bordeaux and for the French region. So that is the only ship of its kind that looks like that. Uh, in the world, and because she was designed just for Bordeaux. Um, we actually do have four new ships coming out in 2020. Um, so these, we do have ships in these current, currently in these regions, and we're going to replace them with these ships. So as I mentioned, we are not adding new ships, we're just replacing and enhancing our current fleet. So we have the Mekong Jewel in Vietnam, Cambodia, the SS Sphinx in Egypt, the SS San Gabriel in Portugal, and the La Valencia in Italy, one of my favorite destinations. Um, so these are definitely going to be amazing, gorgeous ships. We actually don't have any photos of the last three on this list because they're being designed right now. The, uh, the Tolmans actually will go to these destinations, they'll find pieces of art, they'll find pieces of antique furniture, fabrics, different things that will inspire them to create these ships. So they're being created right now. Uh, in fact, the only ship that we have renderings for is the uh, Mekong Jewel. So I'm going to actually show you those photos now so you can see what the Mekong Jewel looks like and how she is very different from the ship in Bordeaux. So this is going to be the newest and most luxurious ship on the Mekong River. It's only 68 guests uh, maximum capacity on the ship. She will be an all-suite vessel, uh, and she actually is con uh, constructed by, with sustainable and eco-friendly materials. So she will be the most eco-friendly ship on the Mekong. Um, we are our, our parent company, our owners are very dedicated to sustainability, so it was important that this ship and this beautiful river be preserved and the ship uh, be very sustainable. And she will cruise 13 days from Ho Chi Minh to Siem Reap, and she will debut on January 3rd. So let's take a look at the photos. So keep in mind what Bordeaux, the SS Bon Voyage, looks like with all the beautiful cheese and wines. Um, but now let's step into Vietnam and Cambodia on a Uniworld ship. 
So here's the lounge. Uh, as you can see, very different from the lounge on the Bon Voyage. Uh, this, again, this will be where the port talk takes place, the, uh, the pre-dinner cocktails where the guests tend to meet, or even after-dinner cocktails. Um, this is going to be kind of the main hub of the ship where guests will interact and spend time with each other. And then our dining venue, again, very different than the Bon Voyage, uh, very much inspired by Vietnam and Cambodia. We will serve local cuisine as well, so cuisine from the local regions, Vietnam and Cambodia, but also we'll have Western cuisine available for guests um, on this itinerary, so guests can kind of choose uh, what type of cuisine they'd like to have. And then we also have a pool on this ship. It's not an infinity pool, but it's a beautiful swimming pool there on the top deck where guests can lounge and relax and watch the beautiful river the Mekong cruise by. Uh, and actually in the back of this um, area here, we have a bar area. There you'll see in the photo where guests can enjoy another beverage. We also have an alfresco dining area of the top deck where they can have uh, just little appetizers and carefree dining um, in an open air environment, again, to enjoy the view as you cruise along the Mekong. And then also a spa on board. But on this ship, we'll actually have also a sauna, a hair salon, and a nail bar as well. So they can get a manicure, uh, ma manicure and pedicure uh, done as well on, on board the ship. So very, very much uh, opportunities to, to relax on board this wonderful ship. And then here's a few examples of the suites. This is the Royal Suites. Looks different from the one in Bordeaux. Uh, again, Vietnam and Cambodia, so different destination. Um, they're very, very spacious on the ship, some of the largest on the rivers. I think they actually are the largest staterooms on, the, on any river. So the, um, this ship is definitely going to be one, one of those for those that really want space and, and that ultimate luxury experience. In fact, look at this look at this other suite, the Royal Suite, the, the amount of sitting space there. I love the uh, the closets, how they have this beautiful uh, painted mural, uh, mural with the uh, bamboo and the palm trees. Just, just really, really gorgeous. And take a look at this bathroom. All marble bathrooms, again, on this ship. You'll see the separate soaking tub there, the large shower. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, again, very, very different than the Bon Voyage. And then one of my personal favorite areas is this. The Royal Suite has its own private balcony, which has a separate little jacuzzi tub area there and separate lounge chairs and sitting area. So this is the creme de la creme of this ship. This is the back of the ship, and it has this private balcony. So really, really an amazing option for guests that want to go all out uh, when they go to Vietnam and Cambodia. So um, hopefully these photos, these renderings, have given you an idea of, of just how different this ship is and how luxurious it is going to be. And again, it launches January 3rd of 2020. It is open for booking now if your clients do want to go and book their next voyage. And also a quick tip, if you have guests that cruise with Uniworld in the past, perhaps in Europe, we find that uh, we have 50 to 60% repeat guests cruise with Uniworld, so past guests come back. Um, but when they do come back, they tend to either take longer European cruises or they go to one of our exotics. So if you have past Uniworld guests, it's always good to reach out to them and let them know about all these beautiful new ships that are coming out because they may want to jump on it and make their bookings for 2020 and get on one of these ships and be one of the first guests ever to cruise on these luxurious uh, vessels. So with this itinerary, I want to mention uh, that it's 13 days, Vietnam and Cambodia from Ho Chi Minh City to Siem Reap. Uh, on this uh, itinerary, you actually will have seven nights of cruising and five days of touring. So you'll see that there's a, a pre, I guess you can say, land portion in Ho Chi Minh City. Day three is when they embark at this beautiful ship, and they cruise throughout, and then day 10, they disembark, and they transfer to Siem Reap, where they spend the last three days in Siem Reap. So uh, it is kind of a combination land and cruise. And here's a quick overview as well. Seven nights, five nights touring, 29 meals, again with the welcome and farewell, 13 included excursions, and one UNESCO uh, heritage site, which is Angkor Wat. So a few highlights on this, uh, the Chu Chi Tunnels, which I just, I have never been here. I would love to go, but I can hear it's fascinating uh, to hear about the history and, and to actually visit these tunnels on this itinerary and actually see how people lived underground in these areas is really amazing. And then uh, we also have an authentic boat ride, and you go on a sampan, and you do a nice cruise, and you visit some little local villages. And then, of course, also you will visit the uh, Cambodian capital, capital Phnom Penh. Uh, and we, have, we also have a lot of free time as well on this itinerary for guests to explore the cities on their own. So this actually will be a tour, and then you'll have free time in the city. And then, of course, this cruise would not be complete without Angkor Wat, which is the UNESCO heritage site. And it's just one of the, it's one of the Seven wonders of the world, I think. It's just absolutely amazing and beautiful. Um, so this, we do spend quite a lot of time uh, at Angkor Wat, and uh, you can actually visit, uh, I think it's a day and a half of touring, actually, on this itinerary. 
So uh, with that, I have kind of given you a background on the Bon Voyage and on the Mekong Jewel. Um, hopefully you've seen how Uniworld, we, we continue to strive to be the best river cruise line. We love that we get the awards and the accolades, but I think it's also, we're constantly trying to, um, the, we, we compete with ourselves. I guess you can say we don't rest on our laurels. We're always trying to improve things uh, and to continue to be the best, which is why we still have the 17 ships, but they are being transformed and refurbished uh, as we move forward. Uh, we also, as I mentioned, have been around since uh, over 40 years, since 1976. Our staff is incredible. They're all uh, employed by the Tolmans, so they're not outsourced from other companies. We have a great guest staff ratio, uh, 37 itineraries. I went over two today, but we have quite a few other ones out there. Uh, and then our ships accommodate about 130. So uh, just a quick overview for you to see um, the bullet points for Uniworld. So I've talked about Uniworld now. It's, uh, we're about halfway through. I want to spend a little time now talking about U River Cruises. So uh, Uniworld is a completely separate brand from U River Cruises. Um, Uniworld, as I mentioned, is for that 55 to 75 year old fit, active, um, upscale, empty nester traveler. U River Cruises is more for the guest that is maybe in their mid 30s to 40s, uh, or maybe even just young, a young at heart traveler. They could be, uh, you know, a 55 to 75 year old young at heart traveler. Uh, it's going to be a much more different experience on a U River Cruise. So what exactly is a U River Cruise? So we're taking the idea of river cruising and taking it to a whole new uh, generation of cruisers. To those that maybe not didn't necessarily think about a river cruise as, as an option for them. So it's going to be very, very young at heart on board. Uh, we're going to have um, different decor on our ships, different cuisine, different uh, shore excursions included, uh, different entertainment, nightlife options. Um, the schedules are going to be different. We'll have more overnights in the bigger cities, uh, less time in those kind of sleepy little village towns. We're going to be where the, the action is. I mean, these, this is going to be completely different than any other river cruise line that's out there. Now, U River Cruises has been around for two years. This is its second year in 2019. Uh, in 2020, we're continuing with additional itineraries. So it, it, it's uh, just an incredibly different option out there. And I want you to be aware of it because I'm sure you're going to have clients that would love this if they knew about it. It's just so, so new. So where do we cruise with you? Uh, we actually are in Netherlands, Germany, Austria, Slovo Slovakia, and Hungary. So we, we do have quite a few itineraries available. Uh, we do have just two ships. There's one this year in 2019. Next year, we'll have two ships, and you may not be able to read this. I encourage you to go to youbyuniworld.com. That's the website, the letter U, byuniworld.com, to find the detailed itineraries. But we do have four major itineraries in 2020 that we are offering, uh, Belgium and Beyond, Feeling Fine on the Rhine, <laughs> the main event, and Basking in the Balkans. So these are the four that we have available, and they're all seven-night cruises. But what's really wonderful is you actually can link them together to make 14 night or 21 night cruises as well for guests that want to be gone even longer. So I want to show you quickly some updates for 2020. Uh, this is actually brand new news. We're going to have, as I mentioned, the new itineraries. We have more overnight stays in the major cities, docked right in the city centers. We have all meals included, so breakfast, lunch, dinner are included. We'll have a two excursion highlights per cruise included. Uh, we have a complimentary happy hour before dinner that's going to be included, gratuities on board as well as ashore, and then we're going to have free Wi-Fi uh, as well. So all of these are going to be included on a U River cruise moving forward. So it's going to be a different price point than a Uniworld cruise. It's less inclusive than a Uniworld, Uniworld cruise, but still a lot is going to be included on a U cruise. Uh, and then I want to talk about our ships. So you saw the Bon Voyage, you saw the Mekong Jewel. But the, the ships with the U River Cruises are completely different than what you will probably imagine. Um, they're going to be very contemporary, very hip, a lot of neon lights, a lot of really trendy artwork. Um, they're, just, they're just beautiful. Uh, and each ship has a restaurant, a gym, two bars, a coffee bar, a rooftop deck, a main lounge, wonderful friendly crew, which actually is Uniworld crew that's moved over to U. And then we call them bedrooms instead of staterooms on the U. Um, so let's dive in and take a look at some more photos. I hope you don't mind. My presentation is quite a few photos, but I think they do speak a thousand words. So we'll talk first about the A, which is our ship that does the main part of Central Europe. So here's the A. The first thing you may notice is that ship is black. Uh, so the two ships for you, River Cruises, are painted matte black. They're just striking when you see them. We're the only cruise line that has black ships. And they have these neon lights that actually change color. So that right now is green, but it can change to purple, to blue, to orange. And what's really amazing is um, a lot of these towns, these cities, they're accustomed to seeing river cruises come and dock in front of them you know, throughout the day, throughout the week. Um, so they see a lot of river ships um, throughout the year. But when we first launched U River Cruises and the ship first docked in the city, the locals came out 
and were staring at our, our Black River ship, and they were taking photos of it because they had never seen a ship that looks like this. It's really, really different and really, really fun, and we're excited that it is doing so well out there. So here's what the lobby looks like. You remember the, the lobby on the Bon Voyage with the beautiful woodwork and the chandelier? Very different on you. You walk in, you're struck by this black and white palette, Marilyn Monroe, Andy Warhol pictures, original artwork on board, uh, flat screen TV is very, very different than you'll see on the other ships on Uniworld. Uh, and then when you continue walking through the ship, if you go into our beautiful lounge area, uh, while the neon lights throughout, we have more this communal sitting with, with the, uh, the booth there. So you can have snacks and meet fellow passengers. Uh, these beautiful, very cool mod chairs, I think are awesome. Um, the table are all different. I mean, it's just it's just going to be a, a beautiful, uh, hip, trendy area. And the lounge here is where you'll have your port talks again, uh, your cocktail hour before uh, dinner. Um, just kind of, and, I'll, and this is actually the place to be after dinner. Uh, we do have a lot of fun after uh, hours uh, entertainment activities as well on you. And to go to the top deck, uh, we found the patio is very, very popular. So there's beautiful patio seating there for guests that, you know, they can just relax and enjoy a cabana, uh, included with the cruise, of course. And then behind that cabana, you'll see that little black building. That's this photo to the right. That's the ice bar on the top deck of a U-ship. Uh, in the back, there's the beautiful ice bar, and we serve uh, those frozen beverages and all sorts of fun things. And here's actually where we'll have parties and uh, silent disco, which is the headsets you wear that play music and you can dance. But when you take the headsets off, it's, it's quote, silent. So you see people dancing with these headsets on, and you can't hear the music unless you put your headsets on. It's a lot of fun. So we have silent discos on board and other fun activities up there on the ice bar, uh, which is available to our guests. And then there's also dining, uh, as I mentioned, breakfast, lunch, and dinner included. Uh, and this is what the dining venues look like. We have these beautiful little seating tables, um, large tables so guests can interact with their fellow passengers. Uh, it's really, really nice because when you're on a river ship, you embark once, you, you unpack once, you go to the welcome party, you make 100 new friends. Uh, these ships capacity are about 120. So you make 100 new friends at that welcome party, all like-minded, all young at heart, looking to have so much fun on these beautiful um, in these beautiful cities. Uh, and then you go to dinner, you can dine with them, make new friends. It's just it's a really, really great environment. And every day you wake up in a different city and can go explore the city with your friends and come back to the ships. And it's just really, really wonderful. So that's why the dining area has these big booths and these other areas so you can sit and mingle with your fellow guests. And then uh, everything on you, River Cruises, is wireless. Um, and it's, I'm sorry, wireless and paper free. So we actually have these cool adapters here on the left that pop up out of the tables in the dining room. So you can charge your phone um, or charge different things. So it's, it's very much a juiced ship. We have access to um, chargers everywhere throughout the ship and then everything's paperless. So the menus uh, on the right there are gonna be displayed on these beautiful um, flat screen televisions as well as iPads. So the staff will have iPads that they show the guests. And what's really, really fun is when our guest embarks the ship, they're given a uh, WhatsApp group. And so every single guest on this ship will be linked into this group on the WhatsApp app, which is a messaging app. So they can message their fellow passengers throughout the cruise. So we actually saw that a lot of guests would go on excursions together and uh, with you, and they would take photos and things, and they would upload the photos into this shared group uh, on WhatsApp app. And then that way guests can share their pictures and, and they can talk to people and they can make new friends. And so it's really, really high tech on board. It's very, very cool. So if you have guests that are uh, very much into technology, um, you is definitely for them because we, our guests on board, they tend to utilize technology like crazy. And it's a really, really fun way to stay in touch and to make new friends on board. And then let's take a quick look at the A uh, staterooms or, or uh, sorry, bedrooms. <laughs> so here's an example of one of the bedrooms on, on board. This would be a classic. And then there's the balcony option here as well with the open air balcony that opens there. Um, and also, I forgot to mention this, but on Uniworld and U, River Cruises, all of our beds are handmade. So that bed right there, that, that's actually handmade uh, by Savoir Beds. So they are going to have wood frames and cashmere and wool. They're just the most comfortable, incredible beds. And they, they originally, we originally started on Uniworld, of course, with these beautiful handmade beds that are amazing. Uh, but of course, we could not not have them on you. So they are on you, River Cruises as well. Um, they're just absolutely amazing. And then here uh, is an example of a suite. And we find that honeymoon couples love you, River Cruises. And we actually found that um, a lot of our suites are being booked by honeymoon couples. So just keep that in mind if you have any honeymooners out there. And then here's an example of one of the bathrooms. Uh, because these two ships used to be Uniworld ships, um, and they were changed to U River Cruises. They all, they all have these beautiful marble bathrooms on board. 
So that's the A. Now let's take a quick look at the B. So as I mentioned, all of our ships are different. So the B is going to be a little bit different than the A, but still very much that beautiful palette, that, that black with the, with the neon lights, and the inside is going to be a little different. The dining room is very similar. I'm sorry, the, the lobby is very similar. So here you'll see an example of the lobby on the B, and I love this hallway here um, with the black and white pattern and the original artwork. We have so many um, photos we've seen on Instagram of guests that will wear a, a solid color, like they'll wear all red or all yellow, a very bright color, and they'll stand in that hallway and take a photo, and it looks like they're in a black and white photo, but they're of this pop of color. It's so cool. So this this hallway is in quite a few posts on social media. Uh, and then if you step into the uh, dining room, it looks very, very similar to the dining room that you saw on the A. Um, in fact, the only real difference is on the A, the booth is gray, and here on the B, the booth is black. I don't know if you noticed that, but we also have the tables that have the pop-up um, chargers and everything as well, So, and then flat screen menus too. And then the lounge looks different on the B, uh, very sleek, black, this checkered, it's very, very cool. Um, on the picture on the right, there's steps there. If you step up, you can go out and step out onto the deck and you're up, actually open air, uh, and you can enjoy um, a fresh breeze as well in the, in the evenings. Um, if people are inside kind of all having their, their fun after dinner activities. So uh, the lounge, again, is very, very popular on um, New River Cruises. We find that this is kind of the place to be. Um, and then uh, I showed you the staterooms on the A. I want to show you this very, very cool room, room that's on the B. These are our triple accommodations on the B. These are actually pods, which I think are so cool. So if you have guests that want to have the lowest uh, entry-level price point and they want to stay with two other guests, so three of them in one room, this is an incredible option for them. But they have everything they need in this room. They have the Savoir beds, which are custom-sized for these pods, so very, very comfortable beds. They each have their own flat-screen TV. They have their own safe. Uh, they have their own chargers. They actually can change the color of the light in their pod to the color of the light they choose, yellow, green, purple, blue. Uh, it's really, really cool. And they also have their own Bluetooth speaker as well in each of these pods to listen to music. So uh, very, very cool, very hip option. And this room does have closet space and a bathroom included as well, which you can't see in this photo, but it's kind of where we're sitting. That's where that, that is. And then the state rooms in the other categories, um, we have French balcony on the, uh, on the B. Again, looks similar to what you saw on the A, slightly different color palette with the red. This is an example of a suite on the B. Um, so again, very popular for uh, honeymoon couples or for those looking to ha celebrate a special occasion, anniversaries. And here's another angle of the suite with its own private coffee bar there as well. Um, so very, very nice, comfortable accommodations on the U. And then uh, also this ship has one of the largest, if not the largest fitness centers on any river ship. So plenty of places to be active on board our ship and they can kind of work out here. And then the top deck is this Stunning. And this is also in a lot, a lot of photos online. Um, a lot of guests will hang out here as well in the summer months and just enjoy the weather and cruise. And we actually have entertainment on the top deck as well. We have saxophone players that come out and serenade the guests. Uh, we have cocktail mixing parties, uh, drum, drum circles, all sorts of really fun things that we do on the top deck. So very, very popular space. And we actually are doing a lot of charters on U River Cruises. And a company actually chartered this sh particular ship. And on the top deck, they moved all those chairs out of the way, and they actually put an inflatable pool on the top deck and did a, a beach party on top of the ship as we cruised uh, down the river. So we do quite a few charters. As I mentioned, these ships are 120 guest capacity, which could be a large group uh, on some other like ocean cruise lines. So if you have uh, groups looking to charter or 120 guests, uh, they actually can take an entire ship and we'll customize it for them. The itineraries, the activities, we'll put a pool on the deck. So um, just keep that in mind as well. These are really, really excellent. And because it's not necessarily Uniworld, it's you river cruises, the price point is lower. So you may be surprised at the, uh, the price that we can provide for charters. Now, a couple more quick slides about you. Uh, the onboard life, as I mentioned, the silent disco, the rooftop lounge. We actually have paint and wine parties that are going to be included uh, so they guests can have a sip of wine as they do a, a paint art class. Uh, we have Wi-Fi included, mixology class, at least one per cruise will be included. And then we also include fitness activities like rooftop yoga will be included as well. And that photo there in the bottom middle, uh, that gentleman with the backpack, that's one of our U hosts. So we do include a host that actually will be with the guests on board that will take them ashore and uh, guide them on the excursions. He's kind of the expert of the different cities and can tell the guests really where to go and what to do, what to see. And what's really wonderful is he actually will go out with them after dinner as well. He'll say, after dinner, we're going to leave at 1030. I'll take you to the, the major hot spots in the city at night and he'll take them out in the evenings as well. So it's really, really fun um, to have that option. And it's almost as if you're traveling with a local. So for guests that maybe have not been to Europe before, or they haven't been to these parts of Europe, and they're not really sure where to go, um, if they take a Europa cruise, they're going to meet all these amazing new friends. They'll have a local expert with them. They can go into the cities with comfort and ease and just see the best of the cities. Um, so, and it's so easy, too, that you unpack once and you're on board with all these friends. It's, it's such a great opportunity. 
Also, because I mentioned Uniworld, we're huge foodies. We love our cuisine on Uniworld. We still have that amazing quality of food on board U River Cruises. It's going to be farm to table, locally sourced, fresh. We're just going to have a different way of presenting that cuisine. It's going to be much more buffet style uh, and much more leisurely for guests to enjoy this on board. It's not going to be the sit down plate at dinners. It's going to be more buffet. And then we'll have family style sharing with tapas plates as well available on U that is going to be included. And also our excursions on New River Cruises are going to be different than what you saw on Uniworld. Our beautiful 80 exclusive experiences are going to be different on you. Uh, we'll have much more active adventure programs. We'll have those Instagram worthy experiences. Uh, for example, if you're um, in a certain city and you want to do a uh, orientation sightseeing tour by coach, um, usually you drive on the coach and take photos through the large picture windows on you will usually get like a gastro bus and you can actually have a champagne brunch on board this bus as you're uh, cruising doing your panoramic tour so different things like that really really fun unique experiences are going to be included uh, on the U River Cruises and then we'll have some other fun ones that are available for purchase so U is not uh, completely all-inclusive like Uniworld is uh, we do have packages available like a drink package available the romance package for those honeymoon couples and then wellness options for spa and so on, uh, spa treatments for guests as well available for purchase. But there is still quite a lot available and included with you. And just so you're aware, the price point for you River Cruises, currently it's about $250 per person per day, which is at starting entry level, which is an incredible price point when you consider that you're docking in some of the major cities uh, right in the city center. If you think of a hotel cost in some of these cities, it could be 400, 500 euros just for a hotel for one night. And we have uh, this wonderful price point and it's going to give you all these inclusives and all these benefits of, of being on a river cruise. So just keep this in mind. I wanted to mention it because I think there's so much wonderful attention for Uniworld, but I really do love you river cruises, what we're doing. It's, um, it's something totally different and unique and just really, really fun. So uh, please keep that in mind moving forward. Now, if you want to learn more about Uniworld and you by Uniworld, we have some great resources for you um, but actually sorry before I jump into that I should mention this um, so we are um, dedicated to sustainability as I mentioned uh, throughout the presentation uh, we actually pioneered a clean water initiative which many in the industry have followed ever since we publish a uh, manual every year that talks about what we're doing to improve sustainability to really to ensure that we're leaving a lesser footprint um, and we're really proud that we just announced that in, by the year 2021 Uniworld will be completely single-use plastic free on all of our ships uh, which is a huge accomplishment. We've already um, gotten rid of water bottles, plastic straws, um, but every type of single-use plastic is going to be gone from all of our ships by 2021. And if you think about the plastic that we have on our ships currently, it may be, for example, if you get your headphones for your um, your your box system that you use to listen to the guide when you go on tours, the headphones come in little plastic wraps. So we've actually replaced those plastic wraps with paper wraps. That's one of our goals. So just teeny little things like that. Um, so it's really uh, amazing how we're able to just even down to the teeny details. And also when um, when cuisine's brought on board, when food's brought on board, we make sure that it's not brought on board with um, plastic containers or single-use plastic. We're, we're being very very strict with that as well. So by the year 2022, we actually um, will be uh, eliminating all single-use plastic. Now, with that, uh, I do want to talk about our wonderful resources available for you. Uh, so we do have Uniworld University, which is our, our online training system. If you go to UniworldUniversity.com, you actually will can take a wonderful training course. It's about two hours uh, to, to complete this. Uh, once you complete it, you'll have access to um, fantastic discount rates up to 60% if you want to actually cruise with Uniworld in the future. Uh, you also get points to our CLIA certification program. Uh, and then you also will be considered a specialist with Uniworld. So when our guests go online and they look for a travel advisor, if they don't currently have a travel advisor they work with, if they search by zip code on our website, you actually will pop up in the results as a, a travel uh, specialist with Uniworld that we recommend. So it's really, really beneficial. Plus, you get to learn so much more about Uniworld. I really do recommend that you go to Uniworld University to, to learn more. I also want to mention that we have rivercurrents.com, which is our online booking engine. Uh, with River Currents, you can go online anytime and check inventory uh, to see what cruises are available, check pricing. You just have to create a quick profile. So if you go to rivercurrents.com, I encourage you to go online, and that way you can access all of our inventory. It is available for Uniworld as well as U River Cruises. Now, last but not least, a really important resource available for you is our sales team. We have an incredible sales team out there. We have our uh, our business development managers, our inside sales team and charters team. Here's a quick overview of them. 
Uh, hopefully you know who your uh, business development manager is. If not, please take a look at this chart and you can kind of pinpoint who they are. We have them throughout the U.S. and Canada. Uh, we also have fantastic inside sales support available to you as well. So um, I'll leave the slide up for just a moment so you can take a look and hopefully you recognize somebody here on this, on this chart. They are some of the most uh, seasoned and dedicated uh, sales people out there. Uh, most, they're absolutely wonderful to work with. I'm very fortunate to be on this team. In fact, I want to show you something really quick. We actually just had this... Um, this done and I think it's really really fun it kind of shows you our dedication to being the best sales team for you and representing the world's best river cruise line so this is actually so take a look at this chart here of uh, of all the different uh, wonderful people on our team and then we actually just have this photo I want to show you so this is us as well <laughs> so that's us when we are representing Uniworld um, so we we definitely know that it's all about being the best for you our travel partners and it's kind of our internal motto is to be the best we put you first because the world's best travel partners deserve the world's best river cruise line. So uh, I just wanted to share that with you because I think it just shows you how dedicated we are to being the best for you. And this photo was actually taken on one of our gorgeous ships, the River Queen, when we had our, our recent sales meeting on board. So uh, I just think it's a, a really fun picture that, that, that shows our dedication to you and, and to being the best for you. So with that, I'm gonna skip back to the slide so you actually can uh, now take a look at us uh, again and, and just find your, your local contact. And in the event you can't find them on the screen, um, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, my name again is Adina Wilson. There's my email and my phone number there. I'm right below Christian, our, our fearless leader, and I'm right over one step over there on the right. So please feel free to reach out to me uh, or to your contact there, and we're more than happy to help you. And with that, I just want to say a big, big thank you. I really appreciate your time, and I hopefully you've learned more about Uniworld, um, our beautiful ships, how we're so different, and how we're so proud to be working with you, um, and how much we value your partnership. With that, a big thank you. And I'll pass it back over to you, Anna. Perfect. Thank you so much for all that wonderful information. And we do have some questions coming in. I invite everyone to keep them coming. I'll start with the ones that we have. Our first question is from John, who is wondering, um, if he has a client with mobility issues, would you recommend any of your cruises for them? Uh, we'd have to learn more about what type of mobility issues, but um, we do... Uh, have elevators in all of our ships. We have gentle walking excursion options available as well, which are um, a more of a lighter paced uh, excursions available to our guests that may have mobility issues. And we also have um, chairlifts as well that go up to the top sun deck. Some other cruise lines don't have that option, so guests can access all decks. So we are very, very open to to, um, to serving guests with mobility issues, but we'd have to just know more about the guests and, and, and where they want to go, and we can always communicate with the ship as well. Okay, perfect. Our next question is from Amber, um, who loves that picture of you guys and is wondering if there are two separate logins for Uniworld and you by Uniworld. Uh, is that for the River Currents website or the travel agent site? Yeah. It's, it's, mm -hmm. It would be all it's all the same. So the uh, the Uniworld University that is available with uh, modules for Uniworld as well as U River Cruises. So it's one login for both, and then the same with River Currents. It's one login. So um, Uniworld. Uh, does own you river cruises so it's all under one umbrella and the sales team as well is all the same sales team for uniworld and you river cruises okay perfect easy enough our next question is from john who's wondering if you river cruises primarily is marketed to north americans or if there are guests from other countries on board as well Yes, actually, we do have guests from other countries. We find that a lot of guests are coming from Australia uh, and taking the longer cruises. The three-week cruises have a lot of Australians. Um, and then we, we do have also guests from the UK as well. Um, but but it is primarily currently North America. Is it what we're seeing on, on U River Cruises? Perfect. Our next question is from Siany. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Um, they have a young couple with a six-year-old child. Is you a good ship uh, for them? Is it a good fit for them? That's a great question. Uh, you actually is uh, considered adults only, so it, it does not have children on board. It's an adult only river cruise line. But for Uniworld, uh, we actually have generations departures, which are our family themed departures. And there's a handful of those, and they're usually in the summer months as well as in the winter months to align with the school breaks for the children. So on those departures, um, you actually will have quite a few children on board. And the minimum age we, we suggest is four years and above. So a six-year-old would be perfect for those. And uh, if you want to find those dates on Uniworld, if you go to our website, uniworld.com, and click on cruises and click on themed cruises, you can then find um, the generations programs and, and which dates offer the child the themed family cruises. Awesome. And our next question is from Amber, who is wondering if there are any special rates for military or first responders on either brand. 
Uh, right now, I don't believe we'd, we currently have that, but I think we would be definitely interested in doing that. But currently, I'm not aware of any, no. Okay. And it looks like that was our last question, unless someone wants to get one in right now. I want to thank everyone for their time. Thank you, Adina, so much for all of the wonderful information. And just a quick reminder, this was recorded. It'll be posted on our YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global, and I'll be sending out the links to the recording shortly. Thank you again, and have a great rest of your week. Thank you. Bye.